in space we can't carry the food in a space is impossibility to carry food but in a space those who decide the matter state or energy state of the transportation or travel they decide to what is absorbed in one of the space technologies which we have followed and we pursue and we teach is the existence of what we call star formation in a body of the man those of you who have been with the foundation work for some time understand what this means it is three reactors on the base and one reactor on the top what we do we allow the fields through gradient of field strength I can choose a different color we allow through the gradient of field strength to create something like this but we choose a lighter element that can you hear me? Hello. Uh, yeah. Yes, Mr. Kesh, I just uh, um, lost Zoom there temporarily for the last uh, minute or so. When you when we did the screen share, it kicked out my Zoom for some reason. Are you back in again? I'm back in, and we're we kept broadcasting on live stream, so everything's good. Okay, no problem. So in this process, when we have a gradient difference between one, two, and three. And then these are, we know, have to be gravitational. They have to absorb, they have to pull in field forces from the environment. And then what these field forces come to be, they, in going through the center, they amalgamate. And then we receive a higher order in the top, which allows this to, if I can choose a green, allows to radiate out. The point is, these three reactors do not supply all the energy spectrum we need. In the space reactors, what we call spaceship system we need to introduce a system which has different application and advantages so what we have introduced in the process is 18 reactors these reactors have a directional motion In this process, something very strange comes into operation. Go back into a number of phenomena and the principles we have explained and we have delivered and we have understood. One of them is, go back to what I call Peter's system, where you create two dynamic systems and these two dynamic systems, in their interaction of their fields, create a friction, which this field of friction creates lower or higher order fields. So, as you have, let's say, reactors six and seven, in the rotation, they create a field in this area. But if you go back, to what Peter did again, if you introduce a third reactor here, the material produced here could be what you've been desiring. 
So we understand that the production of material or energy fields by the presence of the third reactor has a direct effect in production of field strength, not necessarily matter strength. So if you look this reactor with this reactor with this reactor, in respect to the field interactions of theirs, create new energy fields in this area. So this goes on with the others with this, and the others with this one, and the same one with this one. Then you notice the interaction of the 18 or 24, and in some spaceships goes up to three to 10,000 cores in the boundary. The more higher numbers you have, the more possible combination of the fields you produce. In the body of the man, we have billions of combinations. And that billion of combination of the fields is needed for sustaining every cell in the body of the man, if we are not going to use or consume food or packages of energy. One of the, these principles is that if you take it in, if you understand the work of the lotteries, in lotteries you go, for example, up to 49. If they allow you to choose seven numbers, random seven numbers across this one to 49, the combination of the seven in 49 is 14 million combinations. So, if you had a 14 million dollars and you cover every single point and the lotto is at 14, you don't lose, you don't gain. But if it is your lotto is 28,000, so you win double. But what you'll notice is that as you added the combination with this, and then you add it with the top, you have a very strange phenomena. 18 by 4, minimum. That's a minimum combination. That's 72, which this number here becomes 72. But you got to understand you have more. You have one in respect to this. Then you have two. You have three. And it goes up. This combination gives you at least minimum billions of combination. So when the man travels in the space, due to introduction of the dynamic rotating cores, and how many you put cores on the boundary, you create a total spectrum of the energies which is needed for the survival in a space. This is how you do not carry any food. You got to understand, the whole development of the process of the energy and body of the man goes according to the split of the fields in gravitational and magnetic field. So what happens is that with this, for example, if I can pick one up, with this reactor and this reactor and a combination with this reactor, you create a field, for example, for the cell in your nail. With this reactor, with this reactor, again, you create something for something else. So, you understand how, through the introduction of the star formation and the spaceship system, we allow the total spectrum of the energies needed for life in the space without consuming any food. As a part of the limitation to this, there is a energy field which passes the energy level of what we call the soul of the man, which allows the soul of the man to elevate. So when you come into the level of the space, you become automatically in a zone, in a condition, where the man become man of peace. There is no choice, it's the choice of the material. You do not need to mix zinc and copper or whatever. The combination 
of the energies, the combination of the field interactions of the fields produces the full spectrum of what is needed. Now you understand how we are preparing man to go into space. Those of you who have been to Rome, you have seen for the first time the first version of these.